Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Shambhu and today I am going to discuss a very light topic. Uh, but this is very crucial and this is very important for me because uh, uh, in order to run this, I a few months ago I have bought a server uh, with, a, with 64 GB RAM and uh, what I wanted to have is I wanted to have a full-blown GNS3 server running where multiple users can connect at the same time and do projects something like classroom uh, kind of environment if 10 students wants to uh, connect to the server uh, they can connect to it and run their own topologies without bothering uh, the server much because you know uh, gns3 right i remember that in 2011 when i ran gns3 first time on my 1 gb ram machine I was just able to run it, you know, uh, and I was also able to uh, run one router. So uh, that time seeing that router running, uh, it felt so good uh, that I did not want to do anything further. I just I was I was fine with uh, with just doing that, you know, I, it was it was my college uh, PC and, uh, uh, you know, I was I was sufficiently happy that this particular machine can run a router for at that time I have never seen the router physically and uh, I used to think that router is a very big big deal uh, it is definitely a great engineering device and uh, in fact today whenever I see a router I get very excited but uh, that time the excitement was very real and it was very new to me so GNS3 has given me that opportunity to see the router uh, in real life. So that is the reason it is very close to my heart. I have tried to, uh, you know, use many emulators like uh, I have used Whirl, EVNG, etc. And I have definitely used uh, physical devices. In fact, I have many physical devices at my home. So here, uh, what I'm going to do in this particular video is uh, very simple. I want to set up a client server communication between uh, the two devices. I have a Mac device and I have a Ubuntu device sitting at my home. This Ubuntu is a GNS3 server and here I have installed GNS3 simple installation uh, just like your standalone workstation wherever you install. Uh, there is no specific server version of it since this is already Linux machine I uh, do not need a separate GNS3 VM here so let's get started this is very simple there are just one or two steps so I always say that my love-hate relationship with GNS3 GNS has come to next level because earlier I used to run it on uh, on my workstation Mac workstation and I have struggled with gns3 a lot but since it is with me and it has been helping me since last 10 years i really feel very comfortable uh, troubleshooting and working on this particular uh, emulation tool it is very close to my heart in a way so that is the reason i don't want to go anywhere else uh, the kind of upgrades that gns3 is giving it's really exciting all right with this let's get to the business uh, this is my Ubuntu machine and this machine I want to set up as a server. Uh, I'll go to preferences. In preferences I need to go to server. In server uh, you will have to add the host binding here. I'll just attach the IP address which is on this particular machine. On top of that the port, uh, this is the TCB port over which clients are going to connect with me. So by default this port is 3080. I'm not going to change it. This is the TCP port and after this uh, you ca you have the option to to protect the server with the password if you are using it inside your network you know there is no outside connectivity or if the network is completely secure i don't want any password for example here i have just one machine which is connecting to the server i don't want any password here i'll allow console connections to any local ip address i'll keep it checked on top of this, these are the console ports over which the clients would connect to the router. So when on the client, when you have uh, topology opened and you turn on the router, 
and you right click on the router and take the console for that particular router that console would connect on any of these ports so i'll just click apply and ok here on server side this is done here on server side i'll move to my mac machine now this so this is the client here we need to specify the server first so for that i'll go to gns3 preferences and in preferences i'll go to the server right now you can see that i have enabled local server here i'm not going to use local server now i'll just disable this option now for the remote server the protocol is going to going to be http or https so uh, it depends that what protocol you are you are going to use you can use either http or https that doesn't matter and then the host you need to change in my case it is going to be 192.168.1.78 which is my uh, home server if you have enabled the password option at the server then you will have to give username password here else you can leave it uh, leave the authentication unchecked i'll use this as a main server right now i'll apply it let's see if it is connecting to that server or not all right so i think it is already connected let me just try to open some topology i'll go to file and i'll uh, you know open a project in the project library you can see that i have these uh, few projects that i have created so i'll click on one of them and try to open i'm able to open the topology so that is how it is going to work i'll just start one router and show it to you if i take console you can see that csr 1000v router is right now booting up you know i'll jump back to my ubuntu machine and uh, i'll show you one more thing which we need to do so since we are working with tcp port what we need to do is allow those ports also so you need to go to ubuntu firewall and allow those ports i am not going to allow specific ports i'll just allow the complete ip address range for my local network allow from 192.168.1.0 slash 24 slash 24 this will add a rule to the firewall uh, i'm not going to press enter because i already have the firewall rule written that is the reason i was able to connect from the client you have seen that right so that is all there were three steps involved first you need to configure the server then client and then allow the ports over which this connection will work Thank you so much for your time. Please subscribe to my channel if you found this video interesting.